Right then, I need to be completely honest with you. Um, I filmed this video three years ago and it should have come out like 10 months ago uh, with the other ones. Uh, this is sort of the final part of the Loft video series. So I thought I might as well put it out now. It's a bit disjointed from uh, if you've watched the uh, the other four parts, but um, this should sort of summarise it all and finish it all up. But apologies with everything that went on last year. I kind of forgot to upload it, so it was already edited. I hope you enjoy it. So, what are we up to today? Um, carrying on with the loft. It's really taking far, far too long at this point. Um, over a week so far. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm just sick of it at this point. So, yeah. On to this second half here. I've discovered some random old aerials which are still plugged in, so I've got to unplug those at some point, disconnect them because I very much doubt they'll still be able to get anything. So, a bit of a random find. Some old fiberglass which I'm going to put down there. There's another part to the loft up there which I'm not going to bother with. Uh, remove some bricks over here. This is an old chimney, so just to keep the ventilation through, I've removed a few bricks there. And I've started putting these in across here. Now I've got an electrician to come in to move this light down to here. I could do it myself, but I'm going to see if he can put in another one as well. So while he's here, because I've got to move it from here, because apparently you can't have polystyrene touching cables. So it runs all the way down here and across across here. Across there is fine, but this has got to be moved because I can't have the polystyrene touching the cables because it's a fire risk. Because apparently there's something in the polystyrene which reacts with the PVC of the cables. It's not all polystyrenes, it's not all cables, but just to be sure I'm going to have this moved uh, just to on the face here and have this light down on the beam here and I've just got a splinter right um so yeah I'll get cracking and do some of the ones that I can so yeah so there we go I've managed to do all of these here and then pretty much done most of the ones under here because of the material I'm a little bit short so I'm gonna have to make those out of some panels that I've got left here uh, fill those in um, but I'm pleased I managed to get them all out of that so this whole side is in the um, the reflective foil which I'm really pleased with so yeah that's great uh, I've got a few gaps to fill at the top there and I'm going to put a strip down here and then a whole section along here uh, this blue stuff is like a double sided tape so I'm going to peel that off and stick it on there it's just because a couple of them kept wanting to come out with a breeze so I've just stapled this along here so yeah excuse the uh, silly safety specs but what happened was this light here was in the way so what I had to do was I had to undo what well, I had to cut the power to it first and foremost downstairs uh, undo all the clips and then um, take it off the rafters and then move it to here which is fine, tested it, all good. Then when I was installing one of these panels, I slipped and it was either my saw or the, I think it was my saw, clipped it and the light just exploded everywhere. So I had broken glass everywhere and there's still a pile of it down there. So yeah, then I had to go and go to two different screw fixes to get this light. Um, then my staple gun broke. No. I ran out of staples so I went to get some more then with fitting the other ones they broke so then I bought a new st went back to screw fix bought a new staple gun and as I tested it out in the car I managed to staple through the end of my finger or my thumb so it's not been going too great um, so yeah hopefully no more calamities um, 
so yeah we've got all this to cover and then we've got underneath there to do which is going to be awkward and then we've got the end walls to insulate so get in there okay so next day get in there just see I've put this half strip along the ridge I filled in some of the gaps up there put some tape in so I'm just going to staple this to the beams all along the way and I'm going to tape with the silver foil tape all the way along both sides it's a bit of a gap here because there was an overlap and that should have gone up there but I'll just tape that that that's good enough for me uh, and then I've got to do these end walls and glue this onto here I'm still mm, about it I don't know whether I should or not or we'll just leave it but these do obviously um, you know emit cold into the space I don't know um, and then I've got to do underneath there I've got to disconnect these these old aerials um, and then I've got to do up under there and the board across there I've got to do something with this rock wall here fiberglass insulation stuff maybe put it down there somewhere and I've got to fill in these holes here and then the electricians coming out next week to fit another light and just check the electrics over here before I put foil on that side so I'd say there's about three more days worth of work I'd originally thought maybe two to three days but it's looking like it's going to be probably about ten days work so far so yeah well not full days but fitting it around um, my normal work so yeah a bit more than I thought need to get it done okay so we are nearly done done as I sort of the extent that I want to do it really um, yeah so we've I've um, skipped a few steps a couple of days down the line and uh, I've covered all this in uh, the silver foil all stapled in to the top ridge as well that's all taped in all the gaps were filled <clears throat> and then what I've done is I've done all the boarding under here and then foiled it as well now there is the lower level which is sort of down there uh, but I just didn't feel up to doing that at the moment I will I've got the materials for it but for now I'm just going to leave these here and then I'll get I will get round to it uh, I've just I've run out of energy really uh, the chimney breasts I'm leaving a uh, little bit of air coming out of there and then I've cut these boards here to size and I've actually stuck these on here with a spray foam uh, adhesive stuff uh, which is pink grip dry fix uh, sprayed it on the back and then just applied pressure and stuck these on so uh, there's only a few dabs on there so if in the future I do want to take them off it's not a big drama it's more you know spending about 10 quid in materials just to try and insulate that wall a little bit and then I'll just tape up these edges and that'll take a bit of the the edge off and then also this end I've run out of um, this thin inch thick styrofoam so I'll get some more and just do this top piece and the piece there and the strip there uh, and that's just sort of to take a bit of the the coldness that comes away from the brickwork as well um, and then just take the edges and and tape up here and whatnot. so yeah that's it so I hope that's been useful in some way uh, I've now got to put all the stuff back and um, sort of reorder it and sort all my packaging out and see if there's some stuff I can get rid of um, and yeah uh, it's certainly warmer up here got a little oil filled radiator down there which is um, just taking the edge off. The next step really is to sort the wiring out and get another light put in by an electrician so and I should all be up and running. So one last little final note to put a new light in. Um, decided to do it. The other one because it was a halogen like tube light strip light type thing because it's cold up here at the moment it just took forever to warm up so initially it wasn't very bright at all so it meant that I'd have to wait quite a while for it to um, get to its full brightness so mate who's an electrician came in and gave me a hand for an hour and what we've done is uh, we've got the 
cable coming all the way along there which existing cable there and then it's coming up this conduiting here to protect it then it's into this outside box this was only a couple of quid not too bad at all but this is um uh like waterproof or well not water water resistance like outdoor and then this comes up the conduiting here and then into the light here this light was 34.99 from screwfix and it's led it's um it's like a daylight one i can't remember what power it is but it's led super bright it's like a um cool white and it's outdoor as well so if i do get any condensation in here uh, on the light it shouldn't make a difference so yeah just fixed up there with screws so now it's ready to go so i can put all my packaging material up here I've got some boxes from Office Depot, uh, these really useful storage boxes. I'll try and put a link for them in the description on Amazon. They're really these are, these are the best boxes I have ever used. I can stand on these, no issue at all. So I can fit all my padded envelopes in, all stuff like that, and it's relatively warm up here. Uh, it's certainly like a workable temperature, and it's freezing outside at the moment. We've got snow, so yeah, happy days. So if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Um, also consider subscribing for more videos like this. And uh, also ding that notification bell to stay updated with current content that's coming out. And also um, leave us a comment in the doobly-doo to let us know what you think. So yep, I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.